Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to score this beautiful star pattern on our sourdough loaf. It's an intricate geometric pattern. Um, I'm going to start with um, dusting flour on my loaf. Uh, the white flour helps provide the background for the score pattern um, to stand out and be more pronounced after baking. It's just like canvas, white canvas on paintings. So just light dusting and cover um, it with flour. Uh, remove excess flour as well. So since this is a geometric pattern, I'm using cookie cutters, circular cookie cutters to mark the center of the star. The reason I have a large and a small um, shape is because it's going to allow me to evenly mark the lengths of my star's wings. I'm, make, I'm doing the outline with a toothpick so if you were to look at this as if it's a pizza it will have like 12 wedges. The star itself will have six wings. So take your time and slowly um, mark the outlines so that they are um, evenly shaped. As I was saying, the two sizes of the circles is so that I can have um, evenly shaped star wings. You start at the inner circle and draw the star's wingtip towards the outer circle. The key is not to rush. If you want your star shape to um, the wings of the star to pop, um, I suggest you score um, deep about a quarter inch deep like i'm doing here also please make sure that your score lines meet at the wings because that would allow the um the tips to expand and stand out during baking so we're adding more wings to this star pattern it almost looks like a flower. Here I'm making sure that the tips are um, the lines that connect the star wings at the tip that they meet. Now there are some people who use kitchen scissors to kind of um, cut the tips off the main dough so that it um, expands during baking. But I feel like um, razor does a pretty good job. If you angle the razor um, at about 45 degrees, just like we do when we do lengthwise score, this should be good it gives it enough lift. So this looks almost finished. I prefer to add um, wheat husks to the inside star. On each star wing we'll have small wheat husks. Now for this one you don't really need to score too deep because we just want to have the pattern on the star wing itself. There's no need to expand. On an oval bill, I usually do the scoring on one side and make room uh, for a lengthwise score for the um, ear um, so that it kind of opens up during baking. But on the round loaf there isn't much room if you want this kind of a geometric pattern. 
um, but here I'm going to do small scores at the center of the star so that the steam kind of expands and ex escapes. For that one you need to make sure that those lines do not intersect. In fact, um, I think I'm not too careful here and um, I don't leave enough room between the lines. As you can see later um, during baking it kind of tore up and expanded. But this is ready. I'm going to bake it at 500 degrees in a Dutch oven with the lid on and then another 20 minutes at 400 degrees uncovered. This is a um, gorgeous loaf, um, has a thin crust. It's great for sandwiches and soups. Um, like I said, the description is um, and the recipe is below. Look at this gorgeous, gorgeous loaf and the open crumb. Thank you for coming along for this journey with me. I hope you will score some art on your bread and will subscribe to my channel. See you soon.